Welcome back to Destroyer 1320. Today, we are going to be installing some LED headlights on the old Ram here from Oxido. So here is what comes in the kit when you purchase your LED lights from Oxido. Comes with some gloves. Uh, don't quite think that's gonna... Okay, I'll let the kids play in the sandbox with those. I've uh, got some zip ties, a couple little O-ring doodabbers, the instructions, uh, let's see, all right. Now, I don't think I'm supposed to touch these, but you never know. So, that's what it looks like when you get the kit. It's got these little uh, adapters already on there, right there. That has to power up those LEDs. So, let's, uh, all right, I've never done this. I don't know anything about it on my RAM, so let's get into it. Hard to do with one hand. All right, so let's take a look. So you can see there's the stock ones. Uh, give me a second here. It looks like we gotta take that loose to figure out what we got going on here to get these out, so stay tuned. Something I find always comes in handy. I don't know if you guys have one of these. This is just a really cheap, you know, Amazon $9 kit, but these little plastic panel poppers, pretty dang sweet. And I'm actually looking for this guy here to be able to pop that one loose, but telling you nine bucks throw it somewhere in your garage you're gonna love it you'll be able to pop all that stuff open all right got this pop loose uh, let's see what do we got here it feels kind of loose already oh um yeah no uh, yep there there should be a bolt there uh, i take it somebody had to uh replace the bulb on this and then it looks like what do we got well what do we got down here well, we got it, everybody. Uh, it looks like we got a bolt down there. Probably 10 mil like everything else on these things. So I'm going to get me an extension, see if I can get that loose, and see if we can get this headlight out. All right, here we go. So you need about that long of an extension to get down in the side pocket here. You get on down in there and get that, that bolt. Sorry, I don't have enough light to really be able to see it here, but once I get it loose, we'll, uh, we'll take a look at where it's at. Hold on. Got it loose, but... Uh, can't really get down in there with anything, so I got these little, this little plunger dude, little Mr. Fingers, I call them. See your fingers? Whoop! I'm going to see if we can pull that up out of there, and then we'll pop this thing loose. Got it. So it's loose now, but something's catching, and I'm not going to yank on it. So I started looking. I found a little door back here, up in here, that little trap door. When you loosen that up, I could not see really what I was doing. So I'm going to show you in here what we're actually reaching for. This right here is a keeper for the back of the headlight. That just slides up and down. See how that's fatter, that's skinnier. If you push it up, that releases the headlight. You pull that down, it tightens up and holds the headlight in place. Once you've removed the bolt up here and the one straight down there, you're gonna wanna grab the back here and pull out. When you pull out, it will pop loose and this side will come out, which allows that tab that's stuck behind the grill, and that's the reason people take the grill off, to be free. And how this is held in, if you look down here, there's this little nub that goes in right here, and that's what holds the pressure in. But once you can move this like that, it slides out and gives you room to get that past the grill. Aha! Okay, so once you slide it out, you'll see here, to get this loose, this little piece in the back will not help you. It's supposed to. You're supposed to put a screwdriver in here and push, and it's supposed to loosen it. I had to dig in here and then pull out. So now you can see right here is where it actually hooks on. There's that little dimple right there. So just take your screwdriver, slide it up under there, and that will pop this loose. Quick note, these are 10 millimeters. And then when you go to take off the light, it's a 5 16 I'll show you when you go to remove the bulb. 5 16 is what you need to remove these here. So, just a little tip. All right, I've removed all of the screws. Let me go ahead and pull this off. This is my first time seeing it as well. So, right in here is where your bulb is going to be. So, let me go ahead and get that removed and see what all we have to do to put our new bulbs in. So, to remove the bulb, just turn this quarter turn. Like that, and just slowly wiggle it out. That is the factory bulb. Let's go ahead and get that changed out. So the kind folks at Oxito sent me these LEDs. 
So here is what comes in the package. Obviously do not touch the bulb, but it comes with this little adapter there to make sure that it uh, sends the correct voltage to your vehicle so it doesn't show, to, show a uh, headlight out. And this is just going to plug into right there. Well, let's do it. So I plugged that in, hooks in perfectly. Just take your light, line up your little, so there's little tabs on here. You gotta line those up, otherwise it's not gonna wanna seat in your headlight. So let me look at the shapes here. There it is. Quarter turn, that's it. We'll take this and stuff it down in here. I could zip tie it if I want to, but it's pretty tight in there, so I don't think they'll be flopping around too much, but that's it, and then we just reassemble it, so let's do that. Quick tip when you're putting the uh, long one in that's straight down, uh, just take a chop rag like that. I just took and I put it over that flat, shoved it in there, and then just ripped off the excess around it so I can see the bolt. And now when I put it in there, it's not going to fall out. Yeah. One other tip when you're reinstalling these, I got this one reinstalled. Take a pry bar or a, I have a panel tool that I put right under here and picked it up so I can make sure that this line is good right here. And that will make sure when you shut the hood that the line is good right there. Otherwise, you'll have a gap and I'm just anal like that. It'll bother me if the line is not straight. So a little tip, pick that up because there is some movement up and down on this bolt. So once you put, I put, I suggest putting this one in first and then put your bottom one in so you can get that line straight. All right. Once again, take that bolt out, that bolt out, take your panel popper, put it right here in between the paint and that. You can put a little piece of tape or something there so you don't scratch, but pull like that until you feel it pull forward. And then you slide it out. Once again, same thing on this side. Slide your screwdriver in there, pop that loose. Panel plug here that hooks onto the back of the light, pop that, and you have removed your headlight. I wanna shut this hood and let's check our uh, alignment with the hood. Looks good there. Check the other side. See, there's a little bit of a gap here. I can go ahead and pull that up and then retighten it. Forcers. Yeah, this one is a little closer. So I'm going to loosen that bolt on the top here, pull that up a little bit, tighten it down, and that'll get rid of that gap. Okay, let's see if they work. Cross your fingers. Oh, yeah, bud. Okay, I will do a nighttime comparison between the stock ones versus the Oxido LED headlights, and we'll figure out who the winner is. Okay, so here is, here is the stock brightness of the Ram headlights. Here is a look from outside looking in. They're kind of yellowish. Here is what I can see with the stock headlights. Here are the Oxido headlights. Little bit of a difference there. All right, let me go ahead and look back in towards. Wow, it is just unreal. And I actually took a little video of us driving the vehicle so you can see how much farther you can see. It's unreal. If you have a Ram 2500, get these headlights. They're unreal. That is immensely better. What do you think, honey? Good. Oh yeah, dang. Holy cow. That's the distance you can see while driving. Wow. Nice headlights there, Oxido.